are starting to see programs where people either get combined PhD law degrees in, in you know, PhD in computer science combined with a law degree or centers for policy like at, at Princeton and at Harvard. So I think we're starting to see more of that. It'd be great to, to have more. I mean, any of these sort of interdisciplinary efforts are always tricky in that, you know, you, you don't know which venue to publish in, where to apply for jobs. So it's, it's always a tricky business to do this kind of work. But I think we are starting to, to see some schools succeed there. I think um, networking in particular is a funny area. I think um, Scott Schenker from UC Berkeley came to Princeton a couple of weeks ago and gave a talk, and he made a great point. He said uh, the networking course you take is probably the only computer science class you take that's actually a history lesson, uh, you know, that we cover how the Internet works and sort of the, the plethora of protocols and different kinds of boxes that uh, interconnect to make that work. And we, we haven't yet really created the kind of discipline that will allow us to teach concepts rather than how the current technology works. And so I think there's a lot of heavy lifting to do there to pick up uh, the level of abstraction on, on networking and how we teach it going forward. Is it easy or is it hard to get students interested in this as a field of study? Oh, they love it. I mean, understanding how the Internet works is uh, it is hugely popular. And in a way, I think the temptation to teach them how the Internet works is hard to resist because they are really interested to know it. And uh, sometimes the concepts are, at this point, we don't really know what the right concepts are to teach them. And we all know how the Internet works, so it's, it's palpable to, to both the educator and the educated uh, to, to focus on that. But I do think we need to step back, and we want to make the field move forward. I mean, the Internet's been you know, a remarkable success, a research experiment that escaped from the lab. But we haven't learned, uh, we haven't learned how to teach it in a way that actually is elevated above the, the details. The, cer the students certainly arrive knowing how to use it. Yes, exactly. And they're fascinated. I mean, I find especially doing sort of case-driven education really interesting. I mean, like there was a, an outage in 2008 where Pakistan Telecom took down YouTube. Uh, an attempt at domestic censorship uh, due to a configuration mistake on a router led the entire Internet not to be able to access YouTube for two hours. And you could hear a pin drop in my class when I talk about that because the students really, you know, they watch YouTube. They're fascinated that, you know, a butterfly flapping its wings in one part of the world can have you know, such global effects. So it's definitely captivating. Uh, in a way, I think a lot of um, less user-facing disciplines often aren't.